Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and today they just dropped three, not one, not two, but three of the weapon videos. Capcom promised they would start releasing them from today. The website has now been updated and of course as you can see from this page, the other ones are still uh, TBC so I imagine we'll see them later on throughout this week or whenever they decide to release more videos. But for today we are going to be talking about the Sword and Shield in this video and I'll also be doing follow-up videos speaking about the Heavy Bowgun and the Switch Axe because they are are all awesome. But if you guys are hyped, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of these. Let me know what weapons you hope they show next. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Sunbreak news. So to begin with, we are of course going to start things off with the Sword and Shield, my favourite weapon. I am the Sword and Shield guy. I love this weapon. And of course, I, uh, I even manifested it this morning. I was like, please make it the first one. And they did it. However, more importantly, they show off two brand new Siltman attacks. One of them, for those of you guys that were Sword and Shield users in Generations, you will be so happy. Oils are kind of back. Not in the same sense. You won't be using an item to apply oil to your weapons. But there is a Siltman attack called Destroyer Oil. This uses a wire bud to cover your blade with a special ointment and that will then make monsters flinch more easily. Which is incredibly cool because that now means you can of course pull off some stylish moves, dunk on those monsters and just sort of uh, make it so you can get those flinches a lot more frequently so hunting is going to be hella awesome. However, that is not all. They also spoke about a new switch skill called the Twin Blade Combo. This is described as a two-bot attack that opens with a circular slash and follows up with a blade thrust. It's an easy attack to get multiple hits in so they said that it's ideal for high elemental and state properties. Now in this video they also give us a chance to take a look at how the uh, switch skill swap feature will work because of course you can only swap with things that are naturally tied to the same input so they gave us two examples of this one and the first one is hella awesome. They show off using the destroyer oil and then swapping to Metsu Shoryugeki. Now the interesting thing with this pay close attention to the fact that when you apply the destroyer oil you have this sort of a uh, blue ethereal wire bug glow that goes around both your weapon and your shield. A little bit harder to see on the sword when it kind of gets pulled to the side because they're in the sort of snowy region but pay attention to the fact that when they go to Metsu Shoryugeki, the glow is still on the shield. So I would therefore imagine this means you can go and apply the destroyer oil and then switch to your Metsu Shoryugeki, which means that of course that's already a move that has great flinch potential throw on the destroyer oil, you're going to be flinching things left, right and centre. And then of course also on the other one you can actually swap between the uh, two different combos. So you have the sword and shield combo and the twin blade combo. So you can then take your regular combo, switch skill swap, pull in a different combo. So suddenly now we have even more There's sort of the basic sword and shield combo. We actually have like an extended version of this because we can swap between things on the fly which is so awesome. And of course they also show in the video that when you use the swap evade function it perfectly times it so you can then of course go from knocking the monster down using destroyer oil for that flinch to quickly and seamlessly evade over towards the head so you're in prime position to use Metsu Shoryugeki for that maximal damage. This is hella cool, really excited for this, but for the time being that is pretty much it. Of course I'm sure there is lots more stuff to discover, but initially that is a look at the Sword and Shield. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, let me know how you guys think this is going to change your gameplay. Of course if you've missed any of our recent videos be sure to check out one of these on the channel, and of course don't forget to keep it locked because we're talking about the other weapons very shortly, so stay tuned for plenty more.